In this video, we will learn about Dye-George syndrome, also known as 22Q11.2 deletion syndrome or velocardiofacial syndrome. This is a genetic condition caused by the deletion of a small segment on chromosome 22, which leads to defective development of certain structures in the body, primarily those derived from the third and fourth pharyngeal pouches. These structures include the thymus gland, which is essential for T-cell maturation, and the parathyroid glands, which are crucial for calcium metabolism. Now, a key player in this syndrome is the TBX1 gene. This gene produces a transcription factor that regulates embryonic development. When TBX1 is deleted, it disrupts the formation of critical structures like the thymus, parathyroid glands, heart, and craniofacial features. This defective development results in characteristic abnormalities seen in DiGeorge syndrome. Clinically, the syndrome can be remembered CATCH22. Here, C stands for cleft palate, which may cause feeding difficulties and delayed speech. A refers to abnormal facial features like a prominent nasal bridge, micrognathia, or dysplastic ears. The first T stands for thymic aplasia or hypoplasia, which impairs T cell function, leading to recurrent infections, especially viral and fungal. The second C highlights cardiac defects, such as tetralogy of fallow, truncus arteriosus, or ventricular septal defects. H denotes hypocalcemia caused by parathyroid hypoplasia, which can lead to symptoms like tetany or seizures. And finally, 22 reminds us that the cause of all these abnormalities is the deletion on chromosome 22. Let's look at the triad that defines DeGeorge syndrome. First, we have themic hypoplasia or aplasia, resulting in T cell dysfunction and increased susceptibility to infections. Second, parathyroid hypoplasia leads to hypocalcemia, which can cause seizures or cardiac arrhythmias. And third, cardiac anomalies such as conotruncal defects can lead to cyanosis or heart failure if untreated. To diagnose DiGeorge syndrome, genetic testing using fluorescence in situ hybridization or FISH is the gold standard. Laboratory tests will typically show low levels of parathyroid hormone and calcium, along with a reduced T-cell count. Imaging, such as a chest X-ray, might reveal an absent thymic shadow. For severe cases, delayed hypersensitivity skin testing can assess T-cell function. Management of DiGeorge syndrome involves addressing its multiple components. Immune dysfunction can be managed with antibiotics antifungals or antivirals, and in severe cases, treatments like bone marrow transplantation or IVIG are considered. Hypocalcemia is corrected using calcium and vitamin D supplements. Surgical interventions may be needed to correct cardiac defects or cleft palate issues. In some cases, thymus transplantation has been used to restore immune function. Without treatment, the prognosis can be poor, as the syndrome often leads to life-threatening infections or severe cardiac complications in childhood. However, early diagnosis and timely interventions can significantly improve the patient's quality of life and long-term outcomes. By understanding the genetic basis and clinical features of DeGeorge syndrome, we can better manage its challenges and improve patient care. Thank you. Keep watching.